For frequent flyers, it's probably quite clear just how common advertising is throughout the entire travel experience. While most of its day is within the cabin, your aircraft might be wrapped in a livery of some sort of advertising campaign. In this video, we'll look at all the ways airlines hit us with adverts and ask whether or not this ruins the overall travel experience. The physical in-flight magazine might soon be a thing of the past given current events. However, it may survive in digital form, accessible via personal devices. Whatever the format, the in-flight magazine is one of the main forms of in-flight advertising passengers are presented with on the journey. We came across a company by the name of PXCom. Interestingly, this one media company manages in-flight magazines for a number of airlines, including Delta, Tarom, Aeroflot, China Airlines, and many more. Tourists at destination do not know which restaurant to choose to have a good time and enjoy good products, raise interest, and be one step ahead. PXCom website. Advertising has continued to evolve over the years. Nowadays, you might still see a half or full page advert promoting a particular product. However, the sneakier way to advertise comes in the form of custom articles and travel guides that feature a particular attraction or restaurant. In flight entertainment, adverts can be some of the most annoying forms of advertisement if not done well. Some airlines, MEA for example, will run a lengthy series of unskippable promotions after takeoff. For other airlines, it seems to be more common that adverts will play just before the passenger settles in to watch a television show or movie. The nice thing about many of these airlines and their systems is that the ads are completely skippable, allowing the passenger to jump right into the entertainment if they so choose. We offer advertisers and brands to partner with select in-flight entertainment airline partners to display standard 30 and 60 second advertisements or custom content to millions of travellers who are already watching prime television and movie selections during their domestic and international flights. Global Eagle website. And then there's essentially everywhere else within the cabin. This strategy is more common on budget carriers who are a little more shameless with how much selling they do during the journey. Spaces include the seat back, tray table, overhead locker, disposable cups and air sickness bags. Some airlines will allow advertisers to paint the exterior of their aircraft to promote their own brand. According to the Chicago Business Journal, the Star Wars airplane livery tie-in was actually United's second movie-related marketing deal in 2019. Earlier that year, the US carrier secured a product placement deal with a newly released Spider-Man movie. For this deal, we saw Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, take a trip to Europe in the movie. In one scene, he's seen reaching his destination in United's Polaris International Business Class. Part of this co-promotion also saw the production of a special Spider-Man-themed in-flight safety video. Some don't mind advertising and are able to tune everything out as they fly through the sky. Other passengers may feel bombarded and surrounded by visual noise. Usually, when it comes to in-flight entertainment systems, passengers would prefer to begin their television show or movie of choice as soon as possible. Therefore, having to wait a few minutes would feel like an annoyance. Of course, this is mitigated if the adverts can be skipped. Sometimes, advertising is made fun and can actually enhance the experience. While very much an advert for the Star Wars franchise, many travellers do enjoy the Star Wars liveries adopted by ANA, United and LATAM aircraft. For budget airlines in particular, advertising can be a necessary evil that actually subsidises and offsets the cost of airfare. This allows low-cost carriers to maintain a healthy profit while keeping ticket prices low. How do you feel about advertising in and outside of the aircraft? Does it drive you mad or are you quite good at tolerating it? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the Simple Flying channel and be sure to click the notification bell.